My name is Ronnie Metcalf. Jean and Nola Metcalf were my parents and they were farmers. My dad insisted I go to college because nobody in our family ever had. I graduated from high school. I just assumed I was going to come home and help my dad farm. Nope. You go to college or I'm going to wear you out. Guess what? I went to college. Mr. Metcalf enrolled at Arkansas State University in 1955. At the time, Reserve Officer Training Corps, ROTC, was mandatory for two years in college. When I started college in 1955, two years mandatory. Well, since it was mandatory, the first two years, you just did what they were told, you know. Well, when I finished that two years, I'm halfway through, you know, two more years and I can get a commission. So I applied and got selected. You had to apply for advance and be interviewed, you know. So it wasn't automatic. Advanced, we had a lot of classroom. We did have some outside stuff, but most of it was classroom. But it was a, you got credit for it in your, you know, three hours, I think, three college hours. So it was not like you wasted your time. No, it was worth the time. Part of the training, we had to go to summer camp in, in July and August, six weeks. Hot, Fort Hood, Texas is where I had to go. Six weeks between my junior and senior year. You had to do that, that was mandatory. I graduated in uh, May of 59. You had the uh, infantry, artillery, armored, couple of other branches, but I never even thought about the artillery when I selected infantry because that's what I thought I wanted to do. I really liked the artillery. Fort Benning is the artillery officer's school. That was part of my job when I transferred, they transferred me from Fort Benning to Fort Sill. I spent 10 weeks in Fort Benning, 10 weeks in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. My pay as a second lieutenant room at rent, subsistence they call it, which is groceries, 300 bucks a month for all of it. We had a pair of rent, but you could rent a nice apartment then or a, a doable one for $70, $80 a month is cheap. I mean, it needed to be because we didn't have much money anyway, but it was uh, interesting. See, I had a two-year enlistment, but my dad died the next day after I got married and left my mother by herself. What am I going to do? I called over the ROTC department and they said, we'll reduce your time to six months. Same thing is, during that six months, the crop took place. I had a good farmer friend that put my crop in, did a good job, when I got home, there it is. I went ahead and, and uh, when I finished my enlistment, came home, started farming. But, I still had that eight years uh, obligation. So they sent me to summer camp with some unit I'd never heard of one summer. And then during that year, I finally got in a reserve unit in Blyville as a second, second in command, mainly You have to watch, watch what you say and do, especially if you're an officer, because somebody's listening and you just gotta be careful. Somebody's gotta be the boss. 
but you don't have to be belligerent. You, you can do it in an easy way. And we better have a good military in this world now. What if somebody attacked us and we didn't have any, you know, military or whatever? We, the first part's not comfortable, <clears throat> but after that, it smooths out. Don't cut the military short. There's a lot of stuff about it we don't know. <clears throat> we don't need to know. There's programs in the military that you can go to school, military pay for it. I liked it. I liked the military. It's not for everybody. You gotta be a little tougher on the start if you're enlisted. <clears throat> but once you get through that, then you got options. I would recommend it for anybody that doesn't have a plan, solid plan, to try the military. Now it's not for everybody. It's it's there, you got to be a little tougher right on the start, and then it'll it'll level up.